Hello and welcome back. Oh, so I got home today and I uh, reached in the bucket of locks that Bobby Keys sent and pulled out a stock lock. This is a Bozzy. Or Bossy, I don't know. Bazzy, Bozzy, uh, Bazzy. I don't know how you pronounce it. But anyway, it's an Italian lock as far as I know. Um, it has a key, key works fine. Um, not too crazy on the bidding there. Uh, it's alright. Got a high, low, 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 kind of medium high. Yeah, so not too bad. Has a Yale style keyway though, which uh, makes for an interesting pick. Um, I do not know, I guess by the key it looks like a 5 pinner. Um, but either way, we're going to put it in the vise and see if we can get it open. Uh, let's see here, I'm dropping stuff, but I don't need that anyway. Uh, let's see, I had that kick in there. It's a little bit smaller than a, uh, there we go, than a Euro cylinder. Um, let's see here. I will do what I always do, go top of the keyway. Um, Yale style, should be able to fit my 40,000th pry bar in there. Um, and let's go... I like to work off of this ledge right here. Um, let's go with my gem, but my uh, 18 thousandths gem. So, uh, let's see here. Yeah, it'll work just fine. Um, we will zoom in for you guys and hopefully get a view of what I got going on here. There we go. Focus. Yeah, I think it's focusing. There we go. Um, do what I always do, which is start in the back of the lock, pull forward. Okay. Didn't get anything on that pass. I'm going to have to heavy up on my tension. Two. One. A little bit on four. I think I just overset, though. Hmm. No definite clicks as of yet. There was a little bit on three, I think. Oh. Feels like four. I can't get underneath him. He fell to the ground. Oh, there it was. It was four. He was just all the way down on me. Um, had to reach in there and figure that one out. All right. Uh, it is picked. Let's uh, open her up and see what we had inside. I only felt st uh, standard pins in this, so um, didn't get any false sets or anything crazy there. Um, but I have not had a chance to pick the little elephant until now, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'll take this moment. Let me grab my pinning tray. Uh, take this moment to mention that nobody has gotten the correct number on how many video or how many locks I've picked uh, in the first 399 videos. So uh, if you've already guessed, uh, you can always guess again or just count them. <laughs> um, I do have a key if I lock this back up, but I don't want to. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Ah, I just stabbed myself really good. That wasn't good. There we go. That clip off the back. Uh, it is still picked. And let me grab a follower here. And I don't think I need to shim it, but being what it is, I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to throw a shim in there. Um, <laughs> I think it's probably just a good idea to shim everything here lately. There we go. All right. And pins are up. There we go. Um, looks like it is a five pinner. What do with that key. Let's. Uh, I'll just drop a follower down the hole. That's not good. OK. 
Okay. There we go. Now we're squared up a little bit. I uh, have a key. As you can see, all the key pins are in and working. Nice colorful key pins, too. <laughs> um, I'm not expecting anything other than standards. So, so far, no surprises. Um, nothing done to the uh, plug there. And, let me get that shim out of there. We had a standard in one. Oh, we had a spool that I didn't feel. That's interesting. Uh, a standard in three. Really long standard. Um, another spool. Wow, okay. Um, those spools never came into play. Uh, and it looks like we have all the same springs up top. No counter milling or anything crazy in the Bible. Um, I'm going to do something here because this has me a little curious. Um, <clears throat> those spools never came into play. So we are going to fix that right now. We're going to take a look at this. No? I'll be darned. Um, that spool could have easily came into play. So I don't know why I never got any false sets or anything crazy out of this lock. Um, yeah, both of these should have uh, put some spool into play there. Uh, I don't know if it was the binding order that I picked it in or what. Hmm, that's interesting. Um, you know, before I send this back out, I might add a couple more spools to this because, honestly, I know one, if I put a spool in one, it'll definitely come into play, and as well as, uh, uh, five there. But at any rate, we're going to, uh, show you guys these pens. Sorry, not trying to waste a whole lot of time there. I'm just kind of curious as to why I didn't get a false set off of that. Uh, as you can see, it's all standard pens on the bottom. Uh, then we had a standard spool, standard, spool, standard up top. Um, like I said, I might uh, add a few more spools to this before I send it back out. Maybe make this a little bit more fun. Uh, that was kind of uh, interesting that nothing uh, came into play. But anyway, thank you very much, Bobby Keys, for sending me this lock. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your time. And, well, don't break the lock. <laughs>